Today is Sunday, so it's a perfect day to go with my family to the beach and roll by imagination. But first, let's roll here. There is 500,000 movies about Christmas because we are December and Netflix want us to see movies that involves Christmas. Because it's obvious that businesses are spending a lot of money so they can make some good amount of profit on their products for this Christmas. That's why they promote this type of movies for you to feel that you need to buy something for Christmas and to be on that vibe. I believe that. Let's start. This time I'm trying to get everything with this small pen over here. There's some cabinets over here and some Christmas decorations over here. Today we have a different program and I'm super excited because we're going to go to the beach because it's the weekend and that will be so much fun and I will draw there a little bit. about the rule of 180 on shots like these compositions but it's just basically a rule that helps you put the camera in a good place so this rule states that two characters or more in a scene should always have the same left or right relationship with each other it's basically like drawing an imaginary line between two characters and try to keep your camera on the same side. But this doesn't necessarily mean that you can break the 180 degree rule. If you have more experience, you just can break it to the, your convenience. Maybe the movie that you are trying to do needs that emotion, needs that sense of breaking the rule and that's fine. I feel like I will get a new pen, maybe this one. Apparently in this scene, there are like a bunch of kids. After finishing the storyboards, I started thinking about what I was going to do at the beach, but the reality is that I just wanted to free up my mind to the create from imagination and doodle. But let's understand first, what is imagination? The term imagination refers to the mental process by which we generate ideas and concepts from external sources, such as real life, literature, and the media. The world around us has a way of sparking our creativity. People who naturally think in a more creative manner tend to have a more active imagination. These are the folks that have no trouble putting pen on paper to depict mental images. Normally when I go to the beach, I tend to draw more gesture because there are a lot of people there that you can draw and it's amazing because they are in bikinis. So it's easier to understand the shapes of the body even though it's a bit difficult because they are in movement, it's not the same as looking at a picture, but obviously the 30 second warm up poses that we do help us better understand how to do it when we go into a coffee shop, into a beach, in whatever part you want to draw people. But in this case, I was drawing from imagination and I was drawing stuff and objects that we've been drawing in these couple of days, like 10 days. We drew shoes, we drew motorcycles, and I wanted to recap that in my mind 
to see if I have that in my brain and the reality is that yes I do remember the shapes but not to perfection is not 100% realistic but at least is understandable so this means that I need to improve a lot more and I need to get way better at drawing by imagination you start doing doodles and you start creating this habit of drawing whatever it comes to your mind we took a shower and now we are ready to eat and then just sleep because we are tired and uh, it's almost like 6 p.m. and people are still at the beach uh, it wasn't that sunny but obviously it was hot uh, I just went uh, to draw a little bit and I'm glad I did that um, definitely I need to improve uh, more on my visual memory stuff because it's really raw at the moment but obviously doing doodles obviously it's amazing because you free your mind but for sure it will be amazing uh, to do the a little bit more realistic you know not that um, cartoony mm, because I want to improve in details and perspective and everything my food is ready so bye bye